Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about Terraform state and state file and workflow of Terraform that how it actually works. So let's start it. So for what purposes we actually use the Terraform? So we use Terraform basically for two purposes. First to automate the creation of infrastructure and the second is to maintain that infrastructure. Not only that infrastructure which is created by Terraform but also which you have created through CLI or console you can manage that as well. So these are the basic two use cases of Terraform. So how Terraform actually automating the creation of infrastructure and maintaining the infrastructure it is doing by the means of state. So what state does it tracks your current infrastructure. So to track our current infrastructure Terraform automatically creates a file which is defaultly named as terraform.tf state. So what this file actually does it stores the actual state of your infrastructure means it contains the details of your current infrastructure and uh, what are the resources in it and it contains all the details which you are managing through the Terraform. And uh, we have another file named as resource.tf. So this is our Terraform script which we usually created. So this is created by Terraform and this is the Terraform script which we created. Just like we want to create a resource uh, EC2. So usually we name it as EC2.tf. We want to create a VPC, VPC.tf. That's why I renamed it as commonly as resource.tf. So what we put in that Terraform script we store the desired state of infrastructure just like i want to create an ec2 uh, so i will store the details what type of ec2 i want and all the details related in which region i want what vpc i want to attach so i can mention all the details in this terraform script file so it stores the desired state of infrastructure it means what i want uh, the infrastructure to be so what terraform does it compares these two states uh, means the actual state which is presently of your infrastructure and what you actually want to change into it compares these two states so when you execute terraform plan command uh, so basically terraform is a bit of cli tool so when you execute this terraform plan command so what it actually does it compare these two states and create an execution plan execution plan means what changes and modification terraform is going to do so it just shows you whole plan that these modification are going to make that's the use of our first command terraform plan and i also suggest to everyone make sure to run terraform plan command every single time before you run the terraform apply and then we have another command and which is a very very important and you if you are dealing with the terraform then you are probably using it most terraform apply so what a terraform apply command does it uh, compare both the states and it create the execution plan however it goes further and it make the changes as well so in terraform plan command it is not making any changes it's just showing you what changes is going to make but it is not making that changes however the terraform apply command make those changes so whenever you run the terraform apply command it shows you execution plan in which is showing that what changes you are going to make what are you creating what you are deleting so it shows you all and when you provide input as yes then it make those changes as well so i hope now the whole flow of terraform is clear to you guys and how the terraform actually works if still you have doubt you can join our telegram group i will provide the link in the description or you can ask in the comment section of YouTube as well. So as now we understand how Terraform actually works. So now understand a state file in detail. So Terraform state file is basically a JSON file. So as I already told in the previous slide, it contains the list of all resources which you are managing through the Terraform, uh, which is the actual state of your infrastructure. You might be wondering in the first slide, I said that Terraform created it automatically. So Terraform state file got created automatically whenever you execute Terraform apply command for the very first time. So I hope by now it's clear that uh, for what purposes we need state and state file actually and how Terraform is using it. That's all in this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.